Welcome back to Conference Television here at Tissue World in Milan 2019. We're delighted that you've joined us. And this, of course, is where you get to meet in our studio some of the very best presenters from the conference period of time that they spent with us at Tissue World here in Milan. No exception with our next guest right now. Marcus Helberg is here, and he's involved with an organization called Sudra Cell. And I hope I pronounced that correctly because it's Swedish and Italy. Close enough. Close enough. All right, brilliant. Sustainability and thinking about customer development, what was your key message when you were with us on stage? Key message was that our customers have been asking for this for quite some time. They think we've been nagging them with the same message for decades. Wow. And, and it was actually about time that someone listened to them and made something different. And you've responded? Hopefully. Uh, so what have you done? We've actually tried to, first of all, tune our message to be relevant for more than the customer just next to us in the value chain, to be relevant further down the value chain. And if you target uh, stakeholders further down the value chain, you also need to tune your message. And uh, our message basically was if, if you, when you consume paper, not if, make when. sure you consume paper based on a sustainable forest fiber, then it's an act of a hero. Wow. And you say that consumers have been thinking they've been asking for this message for years. How recent is this sustainability message coming through in real terms? Well, in, in, in our business, it's quite recent because the business where I come from, we have a tendency to talk about ourselves in our yeah. communication and marketing. We talk about how much we invest, how much resources we spend on innovation, how much electricity we produce, etc., etc. Very seldom do we really explain the customer value delivered? And that's what we've been trying to do. And you've been delivering that as a company message, as you say, for quite a while. But is sustainability something that's forced upon us by consumers? Or is it something that's been industry-led that's since emerged into the marketplace? It, it doesn't come from a special part of the value chain. It's built into the entire value chain. Yeah. And if you're not on that train, you're going to miss it. I mean, I guess smart, sustainable strategies was one of the themes of this incantation of tissue world as well. But many people are still looking at it and listening to you and thinking, wow, it's the first time we've heard this. Yeah, but I think we have a responsibility to tell the stakeholders how it is. We cut down trees yeah. and we, go we do good stuff with that fiber. Yes. And we do it in a sustainable way. So let's talk about that. But the conception out there in the marketplace says the, the stock of trees that are available is being diminished annually by this huge gobbling up industry. That's not true, because this industry does very well in terms of its own sustainability as well. It we is. replant a lot of trees. You're absolutely right. And, and so isn't it about time we start talking about that? Has to and, be. And, and start explain how we do it and why we do it and what is the customer benefit of it, and yeah. what's the sus sustainability built into that. So Donald Trump would be yelling fake news at this point in time, well, I guess. Well, uh, could be, could be. You know, it's intriguing. I mean, I spoke on stage on day one a little as well, and, and mentioned in passing, there are now drones that pa plant thousands of trees in a minute. Um, there's a lot of technology that's coming in, in that kind of space as well. It's funny you say that. We've been using drones in our industry and in our company for years now. Not, not for planting, but for inspecting for us, which is extremely effective. You can, you can go over 30 hectares in 30 minutes. Yeah. So there is a lot of, there is a lot of digital technology to be uh, utilized. So the transformation of the industry, which was an underlying theme here at Tissue World, across all levels, from marketing to end consumers to even understanding the end consumers that was also spoken about in the program, all fits that sustainability and ultimate growth message, I guess, because the market is changing, consumers are demanding more, technological things are upon us. This is a very different industry to which it ever was before, Magnus, isn't it? It is, and I think actually marketing and communication from our side have been lagging because we have been doing a lot of good things over the years. But we never told people exactly, about it. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So I think it's about time that we actually say it like it is. And that story is a good story. It's a sustainable story, and it's true, and it's solid. And it's going to be very well received when properly packaged and delivered into the markets that it goes to. Hopefully, yes. And I, I guess the statistics from our Active Hero campaign shows that. 
Well, I look forward to following your company's lead in that and seeing exactly what they're doing. Thank you for being so blunt and forthright here with us on Tissue World on the Conference Television Channel. Thank you. Real pleasure to have you with us, sir. Thank you, Magnus. Thank you.